Good day, people. All right, for any of you who have a CADX Raytel or any other camera that you have to use the pad, I have some good news. Um, I figured out how to use the run cam control adapter to use your Tyrannus or whatever controller you may have to uh, adjust the settings in the OSD because usually you had to use the pad and certain cameras anyways um, so I've kind of figured out I'm sure somebody would have eventually but I've scoured the internet can't find anything as you can see I've looked up many different websites trying to uh, figure out uh, but uh, shout out to uh, Joshua Bardwell and uh, Oscar Liang hopefully I said their names right apologize if I didn't um, that um, basically uh, yeah you know without their help um, I don't think this uh, sport would be as far as it is so just a uh, thanks shout out to them um, and any other people on YouTube um, people who I've helped me make these uh, batteries for the Tyrannus um, also I made uh, a uh, rapid fire hookup to uh, to my EV800D because uh, I got tired of people blowing me out uh, you know getting uh, blown out a video from other people so I kind of wanted something to uh, help me um, you know so you won't get a loss of signal and it has helped out dramatically uh, I mean I know the uh, activity alarm shut up anyways um, so anyways I'm gonna put up another video on some uh, things to do if you like if you're older and you like to see uh, for the EV800D, you can also do it to the EV800 um, and other goggles too, it's possible. So, uh, anyways, thanks out to everybody on YouTube with these helpful videos. Uh, they've helped immensely, uh, little things. And I like to tinker myself. Um, made this little fan hook up so that way uh, when you're doing these long things, you know, and you're testing and this and that. Uh, so that's the adapter there. Um, having some problems with my CADX Raytel. I think it's just um, every once in a while you plug it in and the, uh, it, the screen is gray. So I'm probably going to end up sending it back. But uh, I bought a couple of them and uh, the other one I had no problems with whatsoever. It's a great camera. Uh, I just can't believe the, the twilight capability. Um, basically now I can fly at night as long as you have a little bit of light so uh, anyways uh, I'll get on with this I've tried many different things um, anyways I've tried many different things uh, to get it uh, to work uh, I've tried resistors capacitors um, to try and, and get this to work uh, but anyways I was able to uh, figure it out without using any capacitors or uh, resistors or, or anything so I hooked it up to because I knew it worked on my old uh, I had a uh, let me show you I've got a uh, slightly banged up uh, Runcam Eagle, my, my sorry, Runcam Micro Eagle. Um, that you, you need that board. They give it with you. Um, that is the Micro Eagle, Micro Eagle Runcam Josh Bardwell Rotor Riot Edition um, from last year. Uh, awesome camera, very clear, great camera. Um, and then I saw the low light of the Cadex and some of the reviews, and that it looked pretty pretty clear. So I wanted to try it out. So anyways, um, you know, flying it, uh, getting towards dark, 7, 8 o'clock, the light starts going down. You have to keep 
pulling out your little pad and you have to keep changing it and 10 minutes later change it again 10 minutes later change it out so anyways I really got tired of that so I wanted to figure out a way to get this to work so plugged it in it didn't work it does when you push it over you can see the blue light was coming on but nothing was happening so then I decided to hook it to my uh, one of the run cams I have, the uh, run cam micro 2, micro swift 2. And yeah, it worked fine. Um, it has the has the OSD in the ground. Uh, is it separate? No. Yes, yeah, separate. Sorry, my eyes suck. Um, so anyways, um, it didn't work. So it does work it does work with the run cam. I got it to work. And then I used it on the Fox here and it worked also. Sorry, that's the Fox here Falcor. It's a really good camera. Uh, clarity and the color is really good uh, for such a tiny camera. Um, but things off in the distance seemed a little blurry. I don't know, maybe it's my adjustments, whatever. But it seemed like a good camera and it works great. Um, but I really like the, the, the Micro Eagle. Uh, for clarity, and then I wanted to find something else. Um, and as you can see, the uh, the Cadex from my arm in the way has uh, some really good clarity and good color. So, anyways, um, I uh, finally figured it out. I uh, tried different resistors from the Oscar Liang website and watching, looking up other videos and scouring YouTube and um, Cadex's website and they talk about a few things about it and let's see, camera control using OSD and pin fight, uh, FPV camera control using UARTs, so anyways with the uh, run cam camera control, you do need uh, uh, two UARTs, or I guess one set of UARTs. Um, so anyways, um, and then you just have to follow these instructions. It's pretty simple. Um, RX3, TX3, uh, basically ground 5 volts. And um, just follow the instructions. It's really simple. Um, to do this and then you just have to go into uh, beta flight um, and uh, change your settings so anyways just uh, you are three you just put rum can device and it's really simple but anyways after hours and hours of messing with this and doing uh, different uh, readouts basically your uh, as Joshua Bardwell said your um, keypad is basically just a resistor input and you can make your, you know, your controller uh, do the same thing. So, but, uh, anyways, um, so messing around, messing around, and I finally figured it out. Um, you have to, there, you have to hook the wires to the the ground and the OSD, you have to switch them for the uh, Cadex Raytel. Um, I don't know why. You have to hook the ground to the OSD and the OSD to the ground. Um, and I don't know why or how that works, but it does. Um, the only thing that does not work is the down button. You can still go up, as you can see, using your controls. Let's see, we'll go over that one. You can't go down, but you can go up. So, you can change your exposure, global. Let's go down to, you know, can't go down, sorry. Yes, advanced, flip, go up. You can change, and see as it changes. It's hard to see without. So anyways, yeah, you can't see the you have to put something in the camera so you can see the the white 
of the lettering. So anyways, left, right, So yeah, left, right is fine, and then up, up, and then you do and then you do return, and then up, oops, missed it, up, return, up, save and exit, and there you are, and you'll see, and then you push to the left, now your camera controls are off and so there you go and now you can um, so anyways hope this helps thanks everyone for all the info out there I appreciate it uh, I don't think this sport would be anywhere without you know YouTube and the websites and everything so um, so anyways yeah that's kinda where it's at so um, Hope you liked the video. Sorry if you can't understand me. Um, if there's any questions or problems, don't hesitate to ask. Um, uh, hit like and subscribe if you can. So, you know, hey, you can help out uh, another guy trying to make a buck on YouTube. So, anyways, uh, thanks and have a good day.